Previously on. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a dog person, yeah. Maybe I should curse you again. For real this time. Or maybe I'll give you a head cold. Not like you could tell. I can't believe. Oh, that what? What just happened? Boom! What? It's like a tire blowing out or an earthquake. The ground shakes. A shockwave hits the building beside us and the window shattered in succession like lines of dominoes. Glass explodes everywhere and I duck to cover my head. Holy shit, is that you, Laundry? When I look up, I see the kid looking like the devil himself erupted from the ground to come for him. When I turn my head, I see he's not wrong! Yo! Laundry! Bro! You wanna play? Great, let's do it! Seriously, Avery, bruh! This is so not the time for fantasizing this shit! I mean, yeah, it's great that you're having a, like, a, you know, the moment right now, but th this is so not the time, my bruh! Yeah! Get, get your shit together! Yeah! But it's no time for that right now, exactly! I wrap my arms around tighter around him. Oh, okay. Uh, Avery. A Avery. Can't breathe. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, sorry, bruh. I let go and he gently sit me on the couch. He's already f fussing over my ankle. Look, bruh. I'm so glad you're still... Yeah, you're still here. I don't know what I've... Yeah, I don't know what I've done if he cut up, man. Damn. If who cut up? Were you being chased? Yeah, I, oh shit, this guy, like, Notch? Yeah, attacked me, and Graves, yeah, Graves, and Graves fought him off, so I ran. He's one who hurt you. Oh shit, I feel static run up my spine. I think it's from laundry. The light goes out on his eyes. Oh shit, he's mad. I didn't mean that metaphorically, there's actual fucking literal static cracking from him. Damn. He's like a lightning rod when he's mad. I can feel the hair on my neck rising shit. Hope the windows hold on in time. I, I, bro, I, I twisted my ankle trying to get away, you know. I mean, I, I guess I got it caught in his magic. The rust thing, yeah, and uh, shit. I, I don't know, man. Uh, oh, crap. I shouldn't have said anything about magic. He's already halfway out the door. Shit! No, no! Laundry! Brett, come back! G G Graves will take care of it, yeah! I Brett, I don't want you to get hurt, too! This is like talking to an electricity charged brick wall, shit! I'll go see what's happening. Will you be okay here? No, Brett! Brett! Just stay here, I. Right? I don't want to be alone! Please, Laundry! Please! Come sit down with me, Brett. Alright? Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I, I got worked up. Nah, it's it's cool. It's just you know, let's just sit, let's just stay here for a bit. I, I just wanna lock the door, and take a few minutes to catch my breath. I, is is that cool? Yeah, you're right. At least he's calmed down enough to stop crackling. Holy shit! I'll get the door. Nah, no, Brett, let me. I. I want to try my foot again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Holy crap. Now that I have a few minutes to let everything catch up, my ankles hurt like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies open before I had a chance. I have a chance. I'm, yeah. Ugh. I ready myself to fight a murderer armed with a bat, but it's, it's, F Finley? You guys, oh my god. It's the curse. She grabs my hand and does a little dance to, but stops when I wince in pain. Girl, ow! Uh, oh, sorry, sweetie. You okay? Did you twist your ankle? Y yeah, girl, shit. Uh, uh, what, what, what's this about the curse? Oh, fuck my, my ankle down. It's broken! We're, we're all human again! Curse, I'll miss my jelly donut fame, but I'll live. Oh, I'll start a new vlog. Hi. What, what's wrong? You look real messed up about it. It's Graves, girl. 
It's Graves. The curse must have broken because something happened to him, you know? Graves! Bro! What happened? Where is he? Bro! And suddenly, everyone is here. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. This should be good news, but, uh... Probably not, yeah. Oh, Reese, bro. It's bad, man. It's really bad. He's still out there, I think, and... Still out? Where? He launched just by Mason intercedes. Stop it. He's injured. What happened to him, bro? You have to tell me. What happened? It's, bro, someone attacked us, bro. I, I have no idea who he was, but he had a, like, grudge against Graves or some shit. I, his name was, like, what, Notch, I think? I don't know who the fuck that is. What happened then, huh, bro? Th that, this Notch guy, I, I think he beat Graves. Reese's clutches his chest. He looks like he might fall over and pass out. I reach out to ease him to the seat, but he swat me away. I knew it! I knew he was going to get in over his head, bro! I knew another witch was onto his tail! But he told me to stay out of it! Shit! Damn it, bro! I could have helped! But why didn't he let me help, bro? Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Beating on furniture isn't going to do anything, but if that helps him feel better. He sinks his finger into the cushion and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he got. I feel really bad. For all his blustering, Reese admires Graves a lot. I think he was the only one of us who really did. I guess now, after Graves saved me like that, he kind of do too. Too little too late, I suppose. Yeah. So, uh, now what happens? What do we do? We avenge him, bruh! Of course, bruh! We kill Notch! Wow, wow, bruh! That's a bit extreme, don't you think, damn? All's fair in the duel, bruh! If that's what this guy wants, that's what he gets, bruh! When he comes for the fucking cafe, I'll take it back from him! Come from the cafe? Uh, why would he co do that, bruh? When a witch defeats another in the duel, bruh! They take the loser's property, bruh. But you'll have to beat me to get it, bruh. Is Gray really dead? I, f I don't know. If Notch like intended was to kill him, maybe? Damn it. Laundry looks like he's about to go off again. I grab his hand and give it a good squeeze. He, start he starts back to himself. I, I know what you're going to say. Sorry. Nah, bruh. I, I think you're right this time, you know? This magic is dangerous. I think we're in over our heads, nah? Hayes readies himself with wide eyes, his mouth pursed, like a conversation is a game of double dutch play with live wires. I, w what is it, dude? Uh, uh, why does everyone keep talking about magic? Was Grape cursed too? He must have been, right? It, it all sounds so unreal still. Uh, are you sure it's magic? Of course it is, bruh! How else would this be happening, huh? But he was too strong to get cursed. That was... That part was just us, bruh! But he was too strong to not curse us. Does that matter now, bruh? He's gone! And this notch is gonna be here to take everything else too, bruh! He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from the chair and storms to the door. He puts his hands in his pocket, like he's concealing a weapon. How would he just take the cafe, bruh? That's not how property works, you know what I'm saying? They are like deeds and shit, you know? Not that I know much about it than that, but I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their fucking houses, damn. Of course it's more complicated, shit. I don't exactly have time to explain which territories, bruh. Just know that when you're defeated in the duel, you gave your property to the winner, bruh. So unless Graves gives away before the fight, not your own cafe now, bruh. I remember Graves grabbing my hand and starting or staring through me. I remember his words. I, I think he did. What? Before he fought. Before he told me to run away. He told me that he gave everything to me. You? Why you, bruh? You're a newborn fuck baby, stumbling through the witching world. This is not fair. Not fair. You can't handle it, bruh. Well, maybe you're jumping to conclusion here. 
I think some of us should go find out what happened. Maybe it's a con- coincidence the curse broke? I really don't think it would be laundry, I mean. But still, we're just, we're just giving up on Graves too quickly when he haven't seen proof for ourselves, you know? We should confirm. Reese, would that make you feel better? If, uh, if on the slim chance we're right, obviously, bruh. And if not, Laundry and Reese seem so ready to fight. I'm a bit worried of them, yeah. Why don't you come with me? Nobody should go outside alone. We can watch out for each other, you know? You read my mind, bruh. What if Notch is on his way here, huh? What will- shit, what will we do? He can go through me. She cracks her knuckles and possession herself in front of the door. Wow, I'm so glad to have all these bruisers on my side. He said he'd come after me, though. What if he's waiting in my apartment? What about Mochi? Shit! Don't worry, kiddo. I can rescue your kitty. Give me your key. I'll be out and back before you even know it. What? No, it's too dangerous, girl. Dad, you can't do it. I played all those stealth games, you know. You have no idea how I'm good at sneaking. Guys, I'm just a screw up kid, you know. You don't have to do this for me. Of course we do. Yeah, you're our screw up kid, you know. We stick together through thick and skin, or thin, I mean, as cursed cats. Tears are. Tears of gratitude sting my eyes. Damn! I never thought I'd have friends like this who'd endanger themselves for me. My high school friends wouldn't run off the moment someone said curse. I love these guys. I vigorously scrub my face. Don't want to get too mushy, you know. I hobble back to the couch. Okay. We can do this, right? Right, guys? Yeah! 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 Promise me. Nobody's gonna get hurt, okay? Please, bruh, please! Give us more credit than that, bruh. Yeah, this guy will be sorry if he underestimate us. Then we enact our plans. Reese, Laundry, and family all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanished into the bathroom for the first aid kit. Ah, oh, no, I forgot about this shit! Mason dips into the kitchen and I hear a horrific screeching noise like metal against Leolium. Linoleum, I mean. What is she doing? She's returning triumphantly. She smirks at me, or more accurately, at the dumb gawking face I'm making. Block the door. With what? An industrial range? She gives me this self-satisfied smirk, then places in front of the front door and window like a sentry. Oh my god. Who needs magic? Damn! She can snap that notch guy in half with her fans, damn! Hayes is back with the bandage and the bag of ice. Gingerly, he removes my shoes and rolls up my pants legs to get a better look at my ankle. I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes, damn! Ugh, my ankle doesn't look great, but it could be a lot worse, damn! I, I don't think it's sprained, just, just twisted. We just need rest. He slowly... Neatly wrap my ankle with one of the stretchy bandages. When he pins it in place, it's like a pro's work. A professional ankle wrapper. Damn. Do you know a lot of first aid, Hayes? You're like way calmer than I expected. Uh, I study in scouts. Injuries and things don't bother me. N- never have. Not, not everything makes me feel anxious. <laughs> well, thank you, Matt. I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly, but averts his gaze to the ground, towards the ice pack. He props my foot up on one of the big puffy ottomans, then places the ice on my ankle. Oh my god, does that feel good, damn? No, just keep it elevated and rest a little, okay? And take, take the ice off in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. Uh-huh. I'm going to make some coffee, okay? I think everyone will need it. Yeah. I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes, I need a system shut down before I can think straight again, damn. I think even the cats know something's up, because they all swarm me. 
I got two on my lap and the others pile around me. It's it's soothing to hear them and feel their little paws stretching out at me. I hope it's helping them too. Not that I sleep well. Every time I start to nod off, I spook myself with some new horrific way that Notch could defeat Laundry. How he's okay. How he didn't do anything stupid. My heart hurts thinking about it. I want him to come back to this can be over. Or so this can be over, yeah. I tell myself it'll be okay, but it rings hollow. He's an adept or something, isn't he? I bet he could blow up again and scare Notch off. I hope. I hope Laundry doesn't see him at all. <gasps> I should awake when I hear the door fly open. Is it Notch? Shit, did he come right through the front door? Can witches come and invited? Uninvited, I mean? Or is that vampires? Oh, it's Finley again. She bounced the door against her hip. Since her hands are full of cat carrier, the fussy lump inside is unmistakable. <laughs> wow, you're so whiny down. Hold your pants up, baby. Mochi! Do you have any trouble? Is everything okay? It's fine, though. I had to lure him into the carrier with the trees, and he hated every moment of being in there, damn. So same as always. That's good. How about it? Shall I, like, unleash the beast? No. <laughs> yeah. Mochia, if you cause any trouble with the other cats, you're going right back in. Got it? You understand? Like he's gonna choose now to start listening, damn. Finley opens the carrier and he shoots out like a furry cannonball. Then he stands there, dumbstruck. He's got his own trouble now in playing nice with the cafe cats, but at least he's here. That's one less thing Notch could use against me. I see movement in front of the cafe. Is it? No. There's too many people for it to be Notch. Anyway, I know that hat anywhere. It's Reese and Laundry, back already with Graves. Or, what used to be Graves. Now he looks like a forgotten statue, flaking bits of rust off as they haul him up on the sidewalk. Are there, are there hands glowing? I squint to get a better look. Oh, they look like... Gloves? Glowing garden gloves? They say Graves in front of the cafe. Then come inside. Reese peels his glove off and... Then helps Laundry with his. Nobody! Touch him unless you're probably enchanted, bruh! The rust spreads easily, I right, bruh? Are you, like, gonna leave him out there? He looks like a huge ugly yarn gnome, damn! Not that I'm gonna say anything. We can't risk the cats coming over to investigate. They might touch the rust, and Reese said it could spread to them too. I can't take him upstairs. Dracula would be at risk, bruh. Poor Dracula. Shit. I know she'll be heartbroken. So, now what we do? We get ready, bruh. Who here knows a thing or two about magic? I mean, I know the two of us here learn a thing or two, though we hardly, ex you know, experts. I guess we'll do the best we can to teach you, though. Speak of yourself, bruh. You can't teach me anything I don't already know, bruh. Wait, yeah, Reese, how did you know so much about this? I've learned a thing or two about my time, bruh. Or in my time, I mean, yeah. I'm not an assistant manager just because I'm good at accounting, bruh. I have no idea what kind of magic you've been learning, Avery, but I won't let you steal spotlight, bruh. I'll beat him. I will, bruh. Haven't you been listening? He beat Graves! He beat Graves! We gotta team up and come up with a plan, bruh! We fight alone. He picks us off. We all jump him. We have a chance. See? Shit, Mason gets it. Well, what do you propose, Brad? Haven't you ever, like, cram study before finals? I mean, we'll do that using the, like, uh, uh, the tired and true gray method, yeah. We shove enough magic into our short-term memory to beat him, yeah. We probably forget it in five minutes after, but who the fuck cares then, right? I mean, we'll be done. That's the dumbest fucking thing I ever heard, Brad. You got a better one? See? It'll be fine. I'm basically an expert here, too. I got through half my book export or report without even opening the book. Just take the time to study properly. Alright, 
Someone gets me the bug and I'll get this shit started. If I ever need a confirmation that I don't want to be a teacher, I get it today. I try leading a sort of haphazard class on magic, but it's like hurting cats. Reese keeps correcting me. I think Mason fell asleep. Shit. Laundry keeps getting distracted. Brad, why? And wandering off. Ah, oh, goddamn. Feeling. Feeling's interested, but she's also interested in her bum. But Case is too shy to actually try anything. Hell. It looks like Mochi is playing more attention than we. But they are. This is boring, man, guys. Come on. So I keep trying, and I think they do too, but. Shit, I'm exhausted. Look, guys. I'm beat, y'all. I gotta take a nap. Can you just sort of like, independent study press? Sure. You get some rest. We can take it from here. Yeah, that sounds great. But we have to prepare to fight, bro. But we don't even know if this guy's coming. We, we, we could, um, take guard shifts. Right. We'll go in shifts. Avery can rest. Two of us can stand guard. And the rest can move the cats into the basement. <laughs> The, the basement? Why? I don't want any of them in a line of danger. They're safer if they're away from us, yeah? I doubt Notch cares about cats. He won't go chasing them. Uh, but then we gotta herd them all down there. We can do it if we work together. You better get Mochi and Dracula too, bruh. I don't want to leave Dracula alone. She must be scared, bruh. Sure. Can you get her and, uh, then keep the cats company? No, I'm taking first ship as guard, bruh. Graves would want it that way. Yeah. I'll take care of them, Laundry. The cats like me. Great, I'll take the other guard shift. Everybody else relax, okay? Wait, you're taking the guard shift, br bruh? Everybody execute their individual missions. Ree stands in the door. He set his jaw so tightly I'm worried he'll shatter his teeth. Laundry sat next to me. Thank you, bruh. He wraps his arms around me. Are you worried? Of course I am, bruh. Damn. Don't be. We're all here. It'll be okay. Easier said than done, dude. I burn my face in his chest, too. And he poo- He pulls me across arm. I can hear his heartbeat. I focus on it like it's my lifeline. I hear Finley and Mason chasing the cats around. Hurting them to the basement. I don't even care if they see me furiously snuggling on Laundry. I'm so tired. Laundry isn't gonna do a great job of guarding if I'm hanging on him, but fuck, I don't care. Notch can't go through me first to get to him, yeah! He really. Yeah, he's really on edge, even if he doesn't look it. I can't tell by the pounding of his heart. It makes me feel better that he's nervous and it's not just me. But that doesn't exactly make for a better situation. After a while, I feel him gently lift me from his chest. <clears throat> it'll just be a moment, or it'll be just be a minute. I need to ask Reed something. Reese, I mean. Then take care of something else. That's all. Uh, okay. Uh. I curled up into a ball on the couch and drift off again while he strokes my hair. Distantly, I hear a door open. Now it's even more quiet in here. There's muffled talking outside. I think it's laundry and Reese by the tone of their voice, but I can't tell what they're saying. I'm sure it doesn't matter. No, I bet it fuck does matter, but fuck, I'm too sleepy. I open one eye. There's just out there talking. Nothing weird. I appreciate them trying to be quiet for me. I scratch my eyes and try to, to will them both into coming back inside. I heard a door open, but it's silent. It's been quiet for a while. It feels like I've been sleeping for days, but it's only been a few minutes, right? Where did laundry go? And Reese? Why is Mason at the door? <laughs> Where is everybody? Laundry and Reese had something to take care of. Said I'd take the door or take guard for a while. It's quiet, yeah? The bottom drops out of my stomach. If I know anything about that stupid bot, mm -hmm, it's that he's probably ran off to take care of fucking things. Fucking always! God damn it, Laundry! 
Why? He's gonna get himself hurt. Fuck. Where, where did they go? I've got to find him before they get in trouble. Mason shrugs. How fucking helpful, girl. Why? Luckily, some of the swelling has already gone down in my ankle. But it hurts to jam my foot back in my shoe. Look, bruh, oh, look, hold down the like fort while I'm gone, all right? I'll be right back. Hopefully, I'm wrong about laundry. Hopefully, I'm uh, right about coming back. Oh, shit. There's no sign of him, Reese or Notch. Maybe, maybe I'm being too paranoid. Yeah, maybe I'm sitting myself up for trouble. Only one way to find out. I make it all the way back to my apartment. There's rust stains on the ground, but otherwise it doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary ever happened here. I guess they weren't here. Alright? It's no use. I don't see anybody. Maybe they really did some, or did just run as errand? Maybe they're getting supplies or something? As I approach the cafe, I feel the hairs on the back of my neck stands on end. Like, statistic electricity. Oh god, oh god! Uh, laundry? Laundry! There's a muffled voice around the corner. It sounds like him. Laundry! Uh, Avery, no! G- get inside! Hurry! His voice is getting drowned by a slam, like something hitting the asphalt. My heart stops. There's another slam. Much larger. Suddenly, laundry isn't from me! His back hits the ground hard! By the way, he's gasping. I can tell that he had the wind or wine knocked out of him. A wind knocked out of him. Shit! Oh my god, he spotted a cuff. Notch is on him before he can get his breath back. I can't breathe either. Shit! Notch grabs a fistful of laundry's hair and drags him up until they're face to face. Think he can't do it alone, huh? Look at him. Think he's can shock it out. <laughs> You believe that, kid? Crazy fool just runs up and tries to punch me out of the black. <laughs> there is a horrible knocking sound as Laundry slams his hands into Notch's jaw. He crumbles to the ground. Laundry scrambles away towards me. His ears must be ringing. Hell, I feel like my ears are ringing. Damn, I think I can hear it now, like the bass line of some playing far, far away. I throw my arms around him, but he's absolutely crackling. He looks like he could. Tear a building in half with his bare hands down! Laundry! Laundry! You fucking idiot! I can't believe you ran up by yourself again! Down! Promise after this. After this, I'll be good. He looks like he's been hit by a fucking guard! Down! I can't believe he's still standing! Just this last time. Reese, I thought we could do it together. But now he's. Oh my god, Reese! Wh- where is he? <sighs> Back. Back by her apartment. Sorry. Notch got him. By now, Notch has recovered enough to stand back up. Oh, fuck! I think I see a bloom in the corner of his lips. But he wipes it away with his sleeves. I'm a patient fella, and I hope you don't take this all personal. I'm gonna wrap it up now. I've got places to be. Territory to claim. You got me, yeah? Come on! Come over here, kid! I'll cut you a deal. You give me the cafe and nobody gets hurt. Well, nobody else, but you can't blame me for self defense. Doesn't this sound better, huh? Why are you doing this? Leave us alone, bro! <laughs> How many times you gonna strike out, man? You should know how this goes by now. I'm not leaving without taking that Graves owes me. And he owes me everything, you got me? Eh? Ain't gonna half-ass that. Laundry on his feet again. But he's not steady. He lifts to his sides. And his breathing is still heavy, but he curls his hands into his fist and steps back to Notch! Over my dead! He doesn't even get to finish the sentence! Notch push him into the chest with the type of the base or tip of the base blow bat like he's breaking a game of pool! Suit yourself, Tiger. Rust blooms from Laundry's chest like a wo- OH SHIT! LAUNDRY! He falls 
to one knees and clutches a hand over the rest. It spreads slowly, but not slowly enough. Soon his hands rust to his chest like it's been there for five centuries. I run to it, but he holds up his free hands to push me away. S sorry, Avery. This is, this is it. Not just going to rust us in place, just like graves. Poor Reese. Others don't know magic. They aren't gonna put up a fight. I mean, fuck. Maybe Mason, but what about the others? This is how it goes. I stand in front of the laundry and fall my hands to fists. Not just so, so slow in approaching. He hasn't lifted his bat yet. Just get it over with. I think I hear footsteps, like someone's running to us. Please. No, it can't be. The sound of bass is getting louder. What? Is someone driving by? What? No, the face is perfectly timed to the beat of the footstep running closer and closer. I see the light before I see his face. Neon arrows like ground where his feet hit. Heavy bass drop slams out with each step. Uh, like a uh, aftershock from an earthquake. What? Should have come by earlier, Briz. Look at this jackass. Think you can take down my free meal ticket, eh? Gah!